What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mile High Poke Den. You got Paul here and Tony's off to the side doing yep. spectator comments. Um, so Tony wanted me to bring 10 of my favorite cards that I have to show you guys. Um, he wants to do a little series with it, so I'm just going to show you guys 10 of my favorite cards that I own and tell you a little bit about them and why I like them. And, and then uh, I think Tony will be making his own video, too. So. Oh, yeah. Number one. All right. So first off, of course, I have to go with the base set Charizard. Um, he's always a favorite of everybody's. Uh, my most expensive card, too. Obviously, Charizard's always going to be expensive. But uh, it's just good memories with this guy. Um, I, he's, I never really liked him when I was a kid, but... Now I understand why people like him. So <laughs> now I remember, I remember you, Paul, getting that at Griffin's for what seventy, seventy-five dollars. Yeah, I got. Well, no, no, this is uh, that was my base set too. That's right. And then That's I right. paid, I paid three hundred and something for this one. Yeah, so <laughs> is pretty expensive. I'm not going to take them out of these cases, so they all look like they're damaged or something. But they're all pretty in, in pretty good shape. So. Um, Number two. All right, and then so uh, uh, to continue with the theme of Charizard here, we got Charizard and Charizard. So uh, this is my second favorite Charizard card that I have. Um, I actually got this from the Champions Path set, and Tony happened to have bought me a pack one day, just a single <laughs> pack, gave me a single pack, and this happened to be in it. And of course, I didn't open it on video, um, but this card is pretty cool, guys. Uh, Tony, I think you have the. I have the shiny version. You have the shiny version of this yeah. one, yeah. 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 So, but there's another Charizard. Hey, number three. So, all right, and then this is my favorite Pokemon ever, Tyranitar, and this is my favorite Tyranitar card that I have. Well, why is Tyranitar your favorite? I don't think I know why he's your favorite. Uh, so when uh Gold and Silver came out, mm -hmm. he was one of the new Pokemon in Gold and Silver. And uh, I was I read his Pokédex entry, and it's basically that he eats mountains. Oh. <laughs> and so, so after that, I was like, yeah, I want that Pokémon. And so I spent, I think it's like level 55 that uh, Pupitar eventually evolves into him. So it took forever. Oh, wow. Yeah, it took, takes forever to evolve this guy, but he was just my favorite ever since I got him. So I never had a Tyranitar in gold or silver. Um, he's really he's really really good yeah i just like i had the pubitar for a while and i was like damn is this thing never gonna evolve and uh yeah no 55 <laughs> i think is he's like one of the highest level evolutions <coughs> four <coughs> all right and now we're moving on to some uh new or older new cards this is burning shadows this is the back to tank or uh Test Tube Mewtwo, however you want to call it. I think that's actually Hidden Fates, isn't it? Oh, Hidden Fates, yeah. Did I say Burning Shadows? Yeah. I meant to say Hidden Fates. <laughs> yeah, this is Hidden Fates, guys, sorry. Um, but yeah, this uh, I pulled this in the same video that I pulled the, the shiny Mewtwo out of Hidden Fates. But I ended up giving that card to Tony. So um, Tony is a big crybaby. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mind giving it to you, man. So, But this is my favorite Mewtwo card that I have. Um... Base set one is kind of just meh. So here's Basic, here's a uh, new card. Hey Pato, we're on number five. And the reason I like this is because this reminds me of the first movie. And I'll, I have another card in this set, this pile that reminds me of that too. Um, but yeah, so I have a fond memory of the the first movie. When I was in fifth grade, my uh, fifth grade teacher took our entire class. To see the first movie when it first came out. And that is like one of my most favorite memories about Pokemon. Is going to do that with my entire class. Number six. Roger, roger. Alright, and now here's another of my favorite Pokemon. This is Entei. And this is one of my favorite cards because this is the first reverse card that they ever printed. And it's this Entei card. So this came as a promo for the movie as well. I think it was the movie, right? Uh, yeah, I think it was the second or third one. Yeah. It was more Lugia based. Yeah, but so this one, this card specifically is damaged pretty bad. It's got some creases. There's a crease here. And there's a crease on this side. 
but uh, I do have this one still sealed in its original packaging. I just didn't bring it to show on this video because I figured looking at the card itself versus the card that blocks you looking at it is better. <laughs> yeah, and you have a card that you can give a, an example of why you brought this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, number seven or something like that. All right, and then this is my favorite uh, GX card for sure. Um, I love this stained glass trays birds. Uh, there's a lot of different prints of this one, but this one is definitely the best looking. Uh, just looks freaking awesome. I wish they would do more cards like this. They're pretty sweet. And the, I know uh, Magic the Gathering has been doing stained glass cards. Like they have uh, mana cards hmm. that are stained glass and they look dope as heck. Are those like energy cards? Yeah, yeah. It's like their <laughs> energies for uh, Magic the Gathering. Tony Tone is super ignorant on Magic the Gathering. And this one, this one's actually kind of rare to find now because this is the promo that you get in the Elite Trainer box. Yes, from Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates, yeah. And those boxes are like 250 bucks now. Oh my God, we tried getting one so many times. Yep. I finally got one. My mom found one in yeah. one of the vending machines. Yeah. So. This is Tony Montana and Joe Merito, number eight. All right. And then, so this is another, the other card from the movie, the promo. Of course... Everybody loves Ancient Mew. This is one of my favorite cards of all time. Uh, it's one of the coolest cards I think that they've ever printed. Um, so mine's still sealed, but Tony has graciously let me show off his. So this is what the front of it looks like, um, but it comes in this little package, and you would have to open this when you got it from the movie theater. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, that's the Ancient Mew. And it's another reason uh, another memory from uh, my fifth grade class going to the movie together <laughs> and then this one um there's no reason special reason why it's inside this case it's actually in immaculate condition that's one of the reasons why i've kept it in this case but uh ente again one of my favorites and uh <clears throat> this was my first print of him that i ever got so, uh, I just like the way this card looks a lot. It's very clean and sharp and basic. And it looks like he's got like a lot of confidence in the card <clears throat> in that picture too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he definitely, you know, Ante's dope. Anyway, that's my 10 cards, I think. Yeah, I didn't, didn't double any of them that time, I don't think. Yeah, that's all my cards. Oh, wait, nope, nope, I forgot one, guys. Forgot one. <laughs> oh, boy, number 10, huh? <laughs> All right, and then this one is, uh, in my opinion, the best looking Espeon you can get. It is absolutely a beautiful card. I have it only in Japanese, but I think the Japanese cards look better anyway. So, and Espeon is definitely my favorite Eevee evolution. Eevee evolution? Yeah. So, anyway, yeah, that's all my cards, guys. That's all ten. Um, Hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching me show off a few of my favorite cards. Uh, you guys should let me know in the comments down below what some of your favorite cards are that you have. Or just some of your favorite cards that you wish you had even. Because uh, I know there's a lot that I wish I had. Fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, thanks again for watching guys. And we'll catch you again on the Mile High, Mile High Pokedown.